What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. Since I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. Now I wanted to talk about this news that came out that I see has a lot of people concerned about Nev Campbell's status in Scream 6. I'm glad she's getting a lot of work, but Nev Campbell has been cast alongside Anthony Mackie and some others like Thomas Hayden Church in the live action Twisted Metal series for Peacock. Now, People have started to think, oh, well, this means she won't be in Scream 6 or that this increases the chances of her not being in Scream 6, which it can. But the thing about it is there's details about when it's supposed to be filming that was revealed over on Production Weekly. Now, here, Twisted Metal, and shout out to UK for supplying me with this info. This series is supposed to start filming on May 23rd through September 2nd. That is, I think, next week. That starts on Monday. Scream 6 doesn't start shooting until, I think, two weeks after that. So when it comes to considering things like that and the fact that it seems she has landed a recurring role, so she's going to probably have a big, big presence, a far significant presence in just one episode in this series. Uh, portraying a character named Raven, I think the name was, I saw in the, uh, in the listing announcing her participation. She could easily go into production for this series, show up on set, shoot all of her scenes that are necessary for her tenure and her presence, and then go over to Montreal to shoot whatever scenes are needed for Scream 6. So I just wanted to share this just because I think this would be something that eases a lot of that angst or anxiety that people had about her not showing up in the movie. I myself, again, I think I've made it clear. I'm someone who I'm indifferent to it at this point. If Sydney is in the movie, I just hope that you give her a significant reason for why she's here other than just saying, hey, here's, here's that favorite final girl you love so much. She's doing fine. Next. Like, no, I don't need anything like that. She's Sydney Prescott. Give her something to work with. Give her some material. Uh, don't Kim Possible her. I know a lot of you love those two references I did about Kim Possible in some other videos. And just give her something to work with. Don't just have her here just to acknowledge who she is. Like, she's Sydney Prescott, so we just had to have her here. But you don't have her given any, you haven't given her anything significant to deal with. She's just here. No, I'd rather her sit out. Uh, if she's not in the movie, uh, I don't think that's going to make or break the movie. I do think, yes, it's obvious that you will lose a certain chunk of the viewers that go out of their way to watch this. But I think, again, it's important to remember, we still don't know who the cast members are for the new for the new crop of characters. That I assume we'll be making up a big bulk of Tara's new Tara, Chad and Mindy's new friend group and some other people for Sam Carpenter to interact with off campus because this isn't going to be just strictly college focused since we have a sister that's not in college present and we're going to probably deal with her so when considering that who knows who these new cast members are these could be very popular individuals that again will spark their stand following to flock out to the theaters in march to go cash in on all of this ghost face goodness that could result in us reaching over a hundred million dollars once again at the box office so at the end of the day as disrespectful as you might think it is it, it's going to end up looking like probably a nev campbell who depending on who stars in this movie just certain people can have that effect on a movie that's just how it works if you want to cast certain people to guarantee yourself a box office success in return then it's just not going to be that big of a deal when Nev Campbell isn't in the movie, if she isn't, because again, it's not confirmed. I do think that this this scheduling now being here for you guys to know does kind of show us that there's still hope out there for her to be in the movie, because again, she could easily shoot all of her sequences that she needs to for that show and go out to Montreal in July, shoot whatever scenes she needs for Sydney and call it a day. And there you have it. Sydney Prescott is in Scream 6. This announcement shouldn't be anything that I think puts a damper on your hopes of her returning. She very well much be, will be in this movie. There's something in my gut telling me she's going to be in the movie. And the fact that they are again following similar things that happened last time. You know, beating around the bush. Nev not outwardly saying it. Nev obviously being signed to non-disclosure agreements just like Courtney Cox probably is. And Courtney herself, I feel a lot of people think she has already hinted at the fact that Nev will be returning because of her choice of words recently in an entertainment interview that she had recently where she was talking about the script and how good it was. Nev Campbell returning to Sydney Prescott seems like it's an obvious thing given the pattern that they're following. 
but again she might not be in the movie and i think that's fine only off of the basis that i don't think that you should have these people here acting as crutches and you have and then here's the thing they would be act they're acting as crutches if they're just here and they're literally moving scene to scene with our new group of survivors who you're trying to use to take us into the future meanwhile the survivors the legacy cast they're here acting as support constantly propelling them up meanwhile that's all they are they're just they're just stepping stones and it's like no don't do that have them factored in in a way that lets them stand neck and neck with these new survivors give them all material to work with if the survivors that we have been introduced to in screen five are getting all of these good juicy dramatic things to work with that relates to the new ghostface killing spree and you just have a tenured veteran lovable final girl like sydney prescott there acting as their coach 50 percent of the movie with no real significance to anything that happens even getting as far as the reveal i think that's going to come as a disservice to a lot of people who care about how sydney is portrayed on screen yeah you brought her back but look at how you brought her back like what are you doing <laughs> so i think this news about when they're filming this show will be a breath of fresh air or just a sigh of relief potentially for many of you to kind of still have your your mind open to the idea that nev campbell who i think yes will be back is potentially going to still have a chance to star in scream six it's not a death sentence or anything like that this woman seems like she is just getting a lot more roles going on recently which is amazing to see and i do think it's important to remember that apparently when she was also working on party of five she was still filming those first three movies from that original trilogy courtney cox had also still been working on friends when she was filming a scream so i think it was scream two or scream three so don't write her off just yet she's gonna be in the movie if anything this might hint at her type of role she has whether it be big or small but even then she could easily go on to set next week shoot a lot of scenes get a lot of material done and go on to montreal to have this bigger role that she had that she has planned for six then compared to what she had in five if that's the case but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video